Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to make Astro theme mobile friendly. So let's just begin. Alright, so to make the Astro theme mobile friendly, first of all, you would need to install the Astro theme. So first of all, we would have to go inside the appearance and in the appearance, let's just click on the themes. So in the themes, if the Astro theme is not installed on your system, all you need to do is to click on the add new theme. And from here, you just have to write down Astro here. That is it. Okay. And from here, you can simply install it. Okay. So after installing the Astro theme, as you can see the option of the customize here. So if you want to customize the Astro theme, or if you want to make the Astro theme mobile friendly, you can simply click here and you can also click on the customize here as well. Okay. Let's just click on the customize here. And here, as you can see this, we are inside the customizer and we are using the Astro theme. So how can we make our Astro theme responsive or how can you make it mobile friendly from here? Okay. So we don't have a lot of the options here, but from here you can customize the header. You can customize the footer. You can also change the size of the font or the color based on the different screen sizes. Okay. So as you can see here, we have the three different screen sizes here. So we have the desktop size, we have the template size, and in the last, we have the mobile size. And as you can see here, our website design is mobile friendly at the moment. Okay. So this is our mobile design here. So now let's just go inside the header builder. And in the header builder, as you can see the option of the site title, logo, toggle button, primary menu. Okay. So if I just go inside the design here, you can see here, we have the margin value here. And you can also see the mobile icon here. So it simply means that whatever values I add here in the margin will only apply to the mobile screen. So let's just try this out here. So for example, I'm just writing down here 20 px. Okay. And now if I just change to the desktop screen, you won't be able to see the value here. Okay. You won't be able to see the value of the margin. And if I just go back, you can see here that we have the 20 pixel margin from every side. Okay. So this is how we can make our design responsive based on the screen size. So you can simply add the different values to the different screen to make it look better. Okay. So right now let's just uh, remove the values from here. And if you want to set the value for the different screen, you simply click here and you can see this. Now we are inside the desktop version. And if you want to set the values for the tablet, you would simply click here and you can simply add the values for the tablet version of our website design as well. Okay. So let's just click on the elements again and let's just click on the site title and logo. So in the site title and the logo, as you can see this, we have the logo and we have the site title. Okay. So here you can see the option of different logo for the mobile devices. So if you want to change the logo for the mobile screen of our website, you can also do it here as well. So you would have to enable this. And from here, you can simply, if I just go inside the mobile screen and click on the select changes. And let's just try to change the logo for our mobile screen. Okay. So I think we should go here with this one. Click on the choose image. Now you will be able to see the different logo for the mobile screen. So if I just go back to the desktop version, you can see this, we have our previous logo in the desktop version. So this is how you can make the changes in the design based on the screen sizes. Okay. So let's just go back to the mobile screen from here and I would actually remove this one. Okay and disable the different logo for the mobile devices. Okay. So now if I just change the logo width here. All right. So you can see here. It's okay. So I think I have to change the value here. Okay. So now you can see here that we have our previous logo here. So if you want to change the width of the logo based on the screen size, you can simply do it. You can see this. We have this mobile icon. It simply means that this changes will only applies to the mobile version of our website here. So if I just put the value here of 150 px, you can see here we have the larger logo here. And if I just go back to the desktop version, you can see this we have the different value here of 120 px. And for the tablet version, we actually don't have the value. So you can also set the different value for the tablet screen here as well. And in the last, you can see this we have 150 for our mobile screen. 
but I would go here with the default value which was actually 100 px because this is looking fine okay so if you want to change the visibility of the logo on the mobile screen so let's suppose we have the visibility option and if I just disable the value here of the mobile which is simply means that now we want to be able to see our logo on the mobile screen so if I just go back to the desktop version you can see our logo here okay so this is how it works so let's just go back to our mobile version enable the visibility value here all right so now let's just go back and you can see this we have the toggle button so in the toggle button you can see the icons here we have three different icons here and you can also see the toggle button style so you can simply change the values here if you want to and in the design you can see this we have the icon color we have the background color and we have the icon size and we have the border radius so you can see this we have the mobile icon after the border radius this simply implies it that the value we put here would only be applied to the mobile version of our website okay so let's just link the values here and let's write down 10 here now you can see here we have the border radius here and we also have the margin so wherever we see the icon along with the option it simply means that we can provide the different values based on the different screens here okay uh, so let's just go back to our desktop version now now let's just go back and after that we have the primary menu so in the primary menu as you can see we have the bits we have the item divider we have the visibility and we also have the design so in the design you can see this we have these different values here so now let's just go back to the mobile version of our website again now you will be able to see that we have the options and along with the options we have the mobile icon so we can specifically provide the value for the mobile screen here as well or the mobile version of our website so we can provide the value for our uh, menu margin and we can also provide the background color or the text color based on the screen size okay and you can see the border radius we have the border color we have the border width okay so you can see the options here so if i just go back in the general settings again okay you can see this we have the item divider here as well okay so let's just click here you can see this we have these options so if i just click all right so now you can also see the option of the visibility here again so if you want to disable the value of the visibility from the mobile screen you can simply do it from here as well okay so let's just go back so you can see this we can do a lot of the different customizations based on the screen sizes in the header and after that we have the breadcrumb so in the breadcrumb you can see this we have to add the breadcrumb first so that would be inside now you can see this we have this breadcrumb now if i just go inside the design now you can see this we can give the background color text color separated color and the content link color based on the size of our screen okay so you can see the icon here simply means that the settings would only apply to the mobile version of our website so let's give the value here so this would be background color so i would actually like to give here the black color okay so let's just give the text color a white or kind of a grayish color and you can see the separator color as well so this would be white or gray color as well and we also have the content link color and we also have the spacing okay so this is how we can add the values based on the screen size so if i just go back to the desktop version you can see this we don't have the background color we don't have the text color so you can simply add the different colors for the desktop screen from here okay so let's just go back and now you can see this we have the option of the blog and in the blog we won't be able to see many options that we can do for the customization we don't really have many options here so if i just go inside the design uh, you can see this we can only do post title for size based on the screen sizes let's just go back and we have the similar kind of the options in the single post as well and after that we have the page so in the page as you can see that we don't have the option based on the screen sizes so let's just go back and let's just go inside the sidebar and inside the sidebar we still don't have the options based on the different size of the screen so let's just go back here and we have the footer builder okay so in the footer builder you can actually do the designing or you can actually customize 
or give the value separately based on the screen sizes as you can see this we have the background color image uh, that is the background color that is the black color here so if I just click here on the mobile you can see this we actually don't have the background color image so if I just click here and now you can see this in the mobile version we actually don't have background color image okay so let's just go back now you can see the other options here we have the custom post type we have the woocommerce we have the site identity and menu widgets home page settings and the additional css okay so in these options we can't actually do the customization based on the screen sizes okay so the mainly the customization that you can do based on the different screen sizes is actually inside the header builder and the photo builder and we can do a little bit in the breadcrumb and other than that we can't do a lot of the customizations here based on the different size screens okay so this is how we can make our astro theme mobile friendly or this is how we can make our astro theme responsive so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel